Hello, this is a screencast of my multi-threading project, which is part of my final year project at Sutherland University. Just going to load the project up, it will open in a new window, which will just give a bigger idea of what's going on. You'll be able to see more. So the project is designed to give a visual representation to the effects of multi-threading in use. Uh, once the system is loaded, if you just position it so you can see the full field, left click, and then we can maximize its screen. Now, nothing's actually happening on screen at the moment apart from the frames per second counter in the top left corner, and also a little stat panel on the right which shows the performance of the computer. So, an option, so there's a window to see the total primes found by the computer which is the calculation that we use in order to give the visual effect. There's nothing there at the moment because we haven't told it to find anything. So to do this we can start off by inputting the amount of prime numbers to be found. There will be a calculation run in the background where the computer will run through all prime numbers until it finds, it finds a thousand of them. As you can see this system has found 1,000 prime numbers. We run this on a asynchronous thread, 2,000. We see a count up to 2,000, but nothing else is happening. So to give the visual effect of multi-threading in use, uh, we do this by spawning characters. You can input a number in there, it will spawn that amount of characters up to a maximum of 30. I can spawn more in. Or you can left click a character which will spawn three more in. You can also right click a character to delete them. So now that we've got the characters on screen, this would potentially represent a game world where you have characters roaming about the world, even controlled by players or AI. So we will now go back to running the prime number calculation. We'll run this on the game thread. The game thread is the thread that the AI characters are currently roaming about on. If we run that calculation, we can see the 2000 prime numbers were found. Nothing really happened. We could do the same on the asynchronous. We could see 2500 was found, but again, no visual effect. The visual effect comes when we increase this up to a large amount of prime numbers. So the system now needs to find 25,000. So when we click the button, you can see that all the characters are frozen. They'll freeze for a particular length of time, or however long it takes for the computer, to actually find 25,000 prime numbers, which it has said it's found. Yet if we run this on the asynchronous thread, which is a separate thread to what the characters are running about on, and it runs parallel to that, we can see that in the top left corner it's counting up the amount of prime numbers that it has found and there is no effect on the characters whatsoever. They continue to walk around. Now that is the visual effect that the system was aimed to design. It's to show that if you do run it on a thread, which the gameplay or the player could be running on, it is going to have a negative effect when there's a lot of information to be done at a single point in time. So it could be loading new graphics, um, performing some kind of calculation, and it, the user is not going to find that an enjoyable experience. However, if you run it on across a different thread, or many other threads, it's not going to have any effect on the player's interaction with the world, but these calculations or assets, graphics, can all be loaded in alongside of that, create a seamless gameplay for the user. Now, if you do want to reset the game at any time, just click the reset game button in the middle. That will clear everything off the screen, such as that, and you're ready to start again. Spawn in the character, and let them walk about and demonstrate the effects using the game thread and the asynchronous thread calculations.